My name is Mechanic Dave and I'm coming to you broken down on the side of the road. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today marks another glorious day in the Mechanic Dave uh, mechanical fleet. We've bought a new vehicle, and uh, yeah, it's a it's a neon. Don't you don't you like it? Come on, dude. It's a fucking neon. How can you not like it, bro? My neon would put bus lengths on your Mustang. Don't even worry. My neon, way more torque than your fucking Bronco ever could. Dude, big pulse for days, bud. Days. These rims, dude, these are off of Daytona, all right? You can't get any cooler than a car named after a racetrack. Duh. 100 big boys. All right. For the christening? It is now mine. It's official. The car is mine. Look at that. It's a Chrysler key for a Dodge Neon. Chrysler. Chrysler. Yes. Oh, I really do suck at spelling. Spell it right there. I think that'll buff out. I'm sure it will. Okay. Body work, dude. Okay. You may be asking yourself, why the fuck would I buy such a piece of absolute garbage that, I mean, to be honest, the thing's a piece of shit. Why would I buy such a thing? Well, it's just simple. This thing gets 20 miles per gallon. Holy shit. That's light years for me. No, the real reason, I got bored. I tried to be cool and throw my phone. I got bored of um, all the neon owners commenting and telling me, dude, just because you have a V8 didn't mean shit. Like almost bone stock. This thing will outrun that thing day for day. So I said to myself, you know, if if the Neon is such a supercar, as they say, I should get one for myself. So I did. And boy, howdy, is it far from it. Look at it. I've just been fiddling with this. Just putting holes in it. You don't even need to worry about it. It was such a good purchase, probably the greatest purchase in all of Mechanic Dave history, that we're going to take really good care of it. And... um <laughs> no, no, it's such a piece of absolute crap. Look at that. Look at how fucking dirty those floors are. When was the last time those were clean? Fucking 2004? God. Seat is permanently stained with that sweat ass bullshit. Pull the fucking hood. Show you the powerhouse that lives beneath this thing's fucking fugly nose. Look at that. Fucking two liter, dude. 16 valve, naturally aspirated. Look at that fucking weight reduction too. All of the weight reduction, look at that. Fucking literal trash. Just all the rust noise. Fucking, <laughs> almost as rust as a Ford. 
You have oh. to say, this is only the second vehicle ever with a spoiler. And because they come with a spoiler, you know they are fast. Should probably kick the screw out from underneath my tire and we'll put this away for later. Like this thing is super clean. Like there's almost no rust anywhere. Nothing, none at all. Like this thing is as clean as clean gets. You, hard pressed to find another neon in such good condition. Honestly, like I, I can't stress how amazing this car is. You got some fucking shoes, some vans. Look, those maybe something worth something. Why do people live out of their car? Ooh, minty light bulb. Why do people fucking drive vehicles like is that a 10 mil? It's a six mil. Useless. How, how the fuck do you people live within vehicles like this? Like, what the fuck? What is this shit? I bought this car to insult neon owners. Um, I do apologize. Because I bought this car. Here, here's the tampon I found in it. Just, just put it in your vagina. I'm really sorry. Your hurt feelings got yeah, I so never understood. Hurt. Why do people have the feel the need to put stickers all over the car? Looks like fucking garbage. Bob Ross, fuck yourself. All this crap out of here. Don't eat any of it. I will leave the radio alone because it is mint. That's a Sony mint. This dash cam though, I do, I do want that. That's Recaro Racing Seat. Super lightweight. Don't 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 worry about how fucking torn up it is. Try not to get too torn up about the situation. See, that gives the illusion of speed. Oh, I found this in the car. It's a llama with a string on the back. You pull the string and it vibrates. Where have you been? That's fuck. Green Day? Right in the trash. Right in the fucking trash. I just found fucking firecrackers in the car. Oh, I'm gonna, go a, I'm gonna go for a test drive in this, this thing. Look how fucking shitty this interior was built. Right. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's got the fucking. Uh, yeah, it's got a boner. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Got it. The fucking nice vehicle. You may want to turn the lights on. Yeah, how do I do that? Oh, uh, left stick. Uh huh. Oh, it's one of those. I, I reached up here out for the wipers, pulling my uh, shifter. There's nothing there. Oh, only one sprayer works on the wipers, bro. Okay. Oh, I see. It's got the plasticky rattle noise. Oh, that's not even the worst. That's like that's not even the worst of it. <laughs> Nice. All right. 
So, ne so don't, that's the no-no stick. Yeah, that's the, I'm going to stop and never move this car ever again. That's good, that's good to know. Yeah, that's, uh, I probably should have told you that before we drove. Man, this alignment sucks too. Well, I mean, when you got fucking bad tie rods and wheel bearings and ball joints, yeah. I mean. What the fuck? Oh my god, you're gonna fucking kill us. Jesus Christ, dude. You drive like a cunt. No, don't even worry about it. If this thing wasn't a 15 fucking... 15 miles an hour, how about 40? Dude, if this thing wasn't a fucking suicide wagon, I'd be all for it. You see, I don't know it is a suicide wagon yet. <laughs> it's a fucking suicide wagon, fucker. Is it? Oh, yeah. What happens if I would do this? Do what? This. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, cut the shit. <laughs> hey, I want to make it home to my girlfriend tonight, okay? <laughs> don't worry, buddy. <laughs> hey, I want to make it home to my girlfriend tonight. Bro. So this is, this is the, the first front-wheel drive vehicle I've ever owned. Is it really? Yeah. Fuck. They've all been rear wheel drive. Huh. And, and four. That's I don't, I don't fuck with four wheel drive. In fact, the only four cylinder, the only other four cylinder vehicle I ever drove, or owned, I mean, was another Mustang? Was the Tacoma. Oh, fuck. I forgot about the Tacoma. Yeah, that was a four banger. I think everyone forgot about the Tacoma, though. It's a very forgetful truck. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing special about a Tacoma. Really. But other than that, they've all been V6 and V8. Huh, so I just bought the, my first V6. Well, I mean, unless you count my Ranger, but my Ranger was a fucking turd, so. So what year is this thing? I never even... This is a 2002 oh. Dodge Neon. Uh, I believe that is uh, one year after they moved the Neon name from Chrysler to Dodge. So what, what size engine is it? Uh, this is a two liter. Two liter. So it's, it's literally the size of a Mountain Dew bottle. Yeah. So I have one Coke power. Mm. Maybe your own neon owners were right. Maybe, just maybe. Maybe this would make a good race car. Hmm. Well, why don't you let me know in the comments below what you would like to see done to this vehicle. You wanna see it destroyed? Do you wanna see it just go the fuck away? Or do you wanna see it become a race car? My choice is yours, but ultimately mine. Let me know, because if I don't get a response soon, well, little Mopar over here is going to end up like all other Mopars in the junkyard. Bye.